to Swachla Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. What is recurrent pregnancy loss and how can you get treated for this problem? If you have experienced two or more miscarriages, this is considered recurrent pregnancy loss. It is recommended that you consider reaching out to a specialist or a gynecologist before you get pregnant again. Recurrent pregnancy loss increases your risk for having additional miscarriage. So it's always important to speak to your gynecologist and undergo certain testing to identify any issue that may be impacting your ability to carry healthy pregnancy to term. So is recurrent pregnancy loss considered infertility? Pregnancy loss or recurrent pregnancy loss is not same as infertility. Infertility is not being able to get pregnant after trying to conceive for a year or longer. But with recurrent pregnancy loss, you may be able to get pregnant, but you experience miscarriage. However, don't get discouraged. Even patients with three pregnancy losses have a 75% of a live birth later on. And this is what research shows. Let's look at the causes, prevention, treatment for recurrent pregnancy loss. First, we need to look at what causes. It can have a variety of uh, reasons, causes, including abnormalities in uterus, such as a uterine septum, fibroids, or retained pregnancy tissue, cervical insufficiency, which causes uh, losses late in pregnancy, thyroid conditions, diabetes, or higher levels of hormone prolactin. Antiphospholipid antibody syndrome is a blood clotting disorder, which may also cause this. Genetic conditions like chromosomal translocations, which is an abnormal arrangement of chromosomes and then infections like chronic endometriitis and inflammation in the lining of the uterus. However, an exact cause of recurrent pregnancy loss, in other words, a specific answer to why it happens repeatedly can be very difficult to determine. How can you prevent it? Treatment plans for preventing future pregnancy losses depend on what is causing the recurrent miscarriages. If you have fibroids, uterine septum, retained pregnancy tissue or other uterine abnormalities, your gynecologist may consider minimally invasive procedures called a hysteroscopy to fix the structural abnormality or to remove any retained tissue. A hysteroscopy can be performed vaginally without surgical insertion and does not require a hospital stay. If your problem is cervical insufficiency, your gynecologist may recommend a surgery called cervical circulage. This process can provide additional support to your cervix as the fetus grows. If there is a thyroid condition, diabetes or higher levels of hormone prolactin, your specialist you can refer you to a hormone specialist called endocrinologist and these doctors will help you determine a plan that can control your hormone levels. Antiphospholipid antibody syndrome can also be sorted by taking a blood thinner and low dose aspirin can also improve your chances for a healthy pregnancy. When it is chromosomal translocation, your doctor may recommend IVF and pre-implantation genetic testing to improve your chances of successful outcome. If it is endometritis, your gynecologist might recommend you taking an antibiotic or for unknown causes, because that is what can be the problem in many of the cases. If the doctor is not able to determine, the doctor might suggest you take a progesterone, a hormone that can support early pregnancy. A number of reasons can be found, a number of treatment options can be recommended and to those that cannot be found, those that cannot be detected, doctors will try to give you the best treatment options that will increase your chance of full term pregnancy. If you want to understand more about this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.